so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Lab in Eagle Rock, California. There's so many different kinds of toys to play with inside. There's even dinosaur toys. Hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> and my friend Naisha is stopping by to teach us colors and American Sign Language. Let's go. Cool, a train table. Have you ever played with toy trains before? They're so fun. <gasps> Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four cars. And they're sticking together. Check it out. They're magnetic, meaning they attract to each other. See, they stick together. Whoa, look at the wheels. Let's see the colors on top of here. We have orange, black, red, and red. All right, Conductor Mika is ready to take this train on a trip. All aboard! All right, guess it's time for me to keep playing. See you later, train. <laughs> Let's go over here. This is a cool room to play in. Hey. Hello? <gasps> Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just playing with my friends. Yeah, yeah. Can I call you back? Okay, bye, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and look, there's little babies in here. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, baby. Oh, what? Oh, it's nap time. Shh. Hey, I wonder if I could climb up here. It's kind of small, do you think I'll fit? All right, I'll try it. Hello, up here. Hi. <laughs> Hello, oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three, two, one, whoa! <laughs> what? You see dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs! Whoa, these are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, hurrah, hurrah. That means, hello. <laughs> whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk, honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh, very cool. And this one has wings so we can fly. Whoa, these dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is, the T-Rex. Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine, I wanna go down the slide. Oh, <laughs> you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure. Here we go. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say, you can do it. You got this. Okay. You can do this. You got this. Come on, T-Rex. Yeah, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Ooh, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. See if I could build a tower as tall as me. Whoa. Okay. I have 
to get even taller than that. Oh, have to have really good balance blocks. Oh no. Come on, taller, taller. It has to be taller. We gotta make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks, taller and no. <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Aisha? Oh, who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with, ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye, purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this, pink. Good job. All right, bye pink. <laughs> Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> how do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? Good job, blue. Bye, blue. And this balloon is what color? Red, nice. So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and you rub your chin like this, red. <laughs> nice, bye, red. Oh yes, another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow, good job. Bye yellow. Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's good to see you too. And really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside, but I hope to see you two later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, cool. There are more toys in here. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, look, a little car. Uh-oh, he needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh, you can, can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you. Yep, okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Vroom. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. My bad, it's okay. Circles. See a red circle. <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> and see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend. Hello. And another orange. <gasps> hi. Oh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi. <laughs> And look, look under this other yellow one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. 
Oh, cool! Check out these shapes! It looks like this one's missing, but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh, a triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. All right, later, pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa, look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm, yellow or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow, remember? <laughs> and orange, orange is, yeah, orange. And purple, one of my favorites. Remember, purple, good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B, blue. Good job, that was so fun learning that today. <laughs> I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. We got to play with trains and dinosaurs, and blocks, and my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, friends. Bye! Exercise our buttons. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play a game. Every time I make it all the way to the tippy top, I'm going to get a Mika point. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wow, check out all these climbing towers. <gasps> oh, before we start climbing, we should stretch and warm up our bodies. Stretching is a great way to keep your muscles healthy and safe. <gasps> okay, starting with those legs. Ah, <sighs> deep breaths. Ah. <sighs> <Ooh>. <gasps> Do you hear that? I just got a Mika point for stretching. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, before I climb, I should take off my jam pack. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bertha, nice to meet you. <laughs> did you just climb all the way to the top? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Can you show me how to get ready to climb? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> What's the first step? Thank you. Okay, so the first step, I have to get a harness on you, just for your own safety, okay? Oh, great. We're gonna get a harness on so we can be safe while we climb. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna put your right foot and left foot in the small holes and then just pick it up like they're pants, okay? Oh, great. Right foot, left foot. Pick them up like they're pants. Good job. And you're gonna hold it on your waist. Thank you. Get in it. Okay, you can Great, I feel really secure. All right, you're good. Okay, and now the next step, you're gonna get your wheel and you're gonna put it in here, okay? Got my wheel. Hear the click and then you get your key and then take it right out. Release the key. There you go. Great. And then just let your mat come down and then you're good to go. 
Thank you so much, Bertha. Yeah, of course. Bye. <laughs> okay, my harness is on and I'm locked into the belay and I'm ready to go because I'm safe and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's climb. using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo. <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah. And here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa. <laughs> stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Take my wheel. Click and release the key. I'm ready to go. Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow, another Mika point. Whoa, I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's put in our key. Click. Grab our wheel. <sighs> let's go. I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points, yeah. Whoa, did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great. <sighs> climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. Okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever. Are you ready? Great, let's go. to our next wall. Oh, and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Mika Point, here I come. It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. 
I saw so many polar bears at the top. a Mika point and we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. <gasps> Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow, and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow, and another blue. Whoa, cool pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Ooh. Oh, whoa, I got it. Cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. Whoa. Awesome. That was so much fun. Let's find another wall to climb. This wall is awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in. Click. And release the key. Mika point, here I come. Put in my key, release the wheel. <gasps> that was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow, today was awesome. First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. <gasps> we had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, see you later, bye! Hey, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really wanna make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, paint place. <gasps> Come on. Wow, there are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist. Come on. Hey, I'm Mika. What's your name? I'm Mika. I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi, Deirdre. Nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place. I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. New York City, that's where we are right now. I think 
I want to make a skyline too, but I want to do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're going to need more supplies though. So okay. why don't you go grab it from the table? Oh, all right. Thanks. See you soon. Whoa, look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> okay, let's see, what do I want to use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You wanna count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm. What else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm. Oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see. Look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. Yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue's pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue, hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. Throw in some extra. Okay. Whoa, there's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh. Great, you can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine, my skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there, I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms, hmm. I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown up. And, ooh, a sponge roller. That can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? <gasps> I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. 
Oopsie. Nice blue paint. And, oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. There we go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> So, get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm. Let me make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Hey. See? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah! Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see. This will brighten it up. Because it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I could use my fingers to make clouds. Okay. It's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? 
Put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name him George. <gasps> George, where do you want to go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you wanna cool off. And, oh, my sunshine! To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there, and then let's see, maybe this building. And have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay. And then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm going to do three lines on this one. One, two, What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. So details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm going to put some glitter on my painting. What do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> What a great day at the paint place. I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool. And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Burr, it's so chilly outside. <laughs> oh, and now it's raining candy. That's so cool. <laughs> Today, I'm at Cricket's Candy Creations in New York City, and I'm so excited because we get to make treats for the holidays. Come on! Hi! Hi! I'm Mika! I'm Cricket! 
Wait, the Cricket of Cricket's Candy Creations? Indeed, I am. Oh, your place looks so cool. Thanks, thanks for coming. Happy holidays. Oh, well, thank you. I heard we're going to make some holiday treats today. We are. We're going to make a few candy crafts. But before we get started, I've started an apron that'll protect your outfit. Wow. So we can decorate it some more, and then we'll get started. Look at this. I see the letter M made out of candy canes. M for Mika? Yes, it is. That's so thoughtful. Thank I've you. I've got some fabric markers right here. We can draw some candies on here. Oh, good idea. Can I show you how? Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. So we're going to draw a circle. Okay. And then we're going to draw two triangles. Two triangles, okay. And then we've made a piece of candy. Wow, that's so fun. So just a circle and two triangles, and it can look like a piece of delicious candy. <laughs> Thanks for showing me that. Hi, Mika. Hi, Pepper. Nice to meet you. Guess what we're going to do today with Mika? Well, we're going to make slime and then we're going to crush the candy canes. Wait, yeah? we're making slime with crushed candy canes? And marshmallows. I'm going to heat this up by putting it in the microwave. Okay. So this part I'm going to do, right? Because I'm an adult? Yeah, this is a grown-up job. Okay. Oh, so you stir it around. Around and around and around. Oh, you're good at this, Pepper. Whoa! Okay, and we're gonna make it pink. So, Mika, there's some food coloring next to you. Oh, right here? Yep. Okay. We're gonna add one drop. While Pepper's stirring it, Mika, you see right next to you there's a bag full of candy canes? Yep. You're gonna use that rolling pin in your muscles and you're gonna crush the candy canes. Okay. <laughs> I have muscles. I have some powdered sugar right here. Okay. Mika, if you want to add a little bit at a time while Pepper stirs. Okay. Just a little at a time. You ready, Pepper? Here. I'm going to put a little bit of the powdered sugar. A little more, a little more. There you go. Okay. Okay. And Pepper, we're going to give Mika a turn to stir too, okay? I'm going to reach over here and grab this powdered sugar and add a little more as you're stirring. What are we going to add next? What did we just crush up? Candy canes. Candy yeah. canes. So let's have Mika put the candy canes inside the bowl. Okay. All of them? All of them. All right. Candy canes. Okay. And we're going to stir it again. Uh -huh. Hey, you want to take a turn? All right. Pepper stirring all those ingredients. While Pepper stirring Ooh. Mika, we have red and green <gasps> edible special glitter. Edible glitter? Yeah. It's Usually not like you can't eat glitter. Exactly. It's not like normal arts and crafts glitter. This is a special kind you can eat. That's so cool. Do you want to pour it on while Pepper's stirring? Sure. Ooh, and I love the red and green. You want me to help you? Do you want to pour in the glitter and I'll stir? Uh-huh. Okay. Ready? Let's switch. Oh, it's getting tougher to stir. I know it's what you mean, Pepper. It's almost ready to use your hands. Really? Yep. <laughs> Okay, team. We're gonna we're going to put some powdered sugar on our hands in a minute, and okay. then we'll put our hands in the bowl and start to slime. Whoa, that sounds fun. Pepper, do you want to? Do you think it's time for to invite your brother in so he can play with the slime too? Yeah, yeah, that's a okay. great idea. I can't wait to meet your brother. Let's go get him. We're gonna put some powdered sugar on our hands so the slime isn't quite so slimy. Okay. Okay. So we'll put some powdered sugar. Give me your hands, Mika. Okay. Kingston, you want to give me your Whoa. hands too? Here, you scoot over here and put your hands over. Whoa. And the powdered sugar what? is going to protect your hands from oh. getting sticky from the slime. What? So should I rub the powdered rub sugar it together, over hands? and then you guys can start to play. Yes. Okay. Um. Here. All Pepper, right, Kingston, Kingston Pepper, show me what to do. Brother, Kingston. Thank you. I, I wish I had my own thought in here. <laughs> well, everybody can try it in a minute, but first we're going to play with the slime. Okay, let's see. Oh. It feels so squishy. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna push the candy cane. Okay, oh, that's a good idea. Let's see if oh, you King can wants to try it. <gasps> Let's see if you like it. Is it yummy? I'm I think he likes it. <laughs> you wanna try it, Mika? Yeah, look. Mm, good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's so sweet, and the candy cane is really, really yummy in there. Yay! Mm. Well, should we go make some more candy crafts? Sounds like a good idea. Are you guys ready? Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Kingston, lead the way. <laughs> Come on, Pepper. 
Oh, I know what this is. Have you ever seen cotton candy before? Or maybe you call it candy floss, or some people call it fairy floss, or even grandma's hair. <laughs> it's so silly. Well, yeah. How do you make do it? Do you want to learn how to make it yourself, Mika? Yeah, I would love okay. to. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Okay. And so it starts to heat up. Okay. Then we take the sugar. I've got some blue sugar here. And it's getting warmer. Ooh. And then once it starts to spin, you want to help me? Sure. Can you hold that for yeah. one second? I'm going to get out one of these paper cones. Cool. And then we're going to pour that right okay. in the middle. You want to do it for me, actually? All right, I'll try. Okay. Here we go. Is it ready? I think so. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start to see a cloud of sugar form. Oh, see the clouds starting to form? Whoa! There we go. It almost looks like like snow around the paper. It does. Do you want to try to spin oh, it? Yes, please. Look at that! Does it look like a big blue snowball? <laughs> or maybe it could look like. <laughs> Hello there, dearie. <laughs> or it could be a beard. <laughs> okay, I think I'll taste this little piece right here. <laughs> it's so yummy and so sweet. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, what a delicious treat. <laughs> Should we go make some more candy crafts? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Well, this is the chocolate chamber. Oh, and today cool. we're gonna make a sweet and sticky snowman. What? How are you gonna make that? Well, first we're gonna take this cake cone okay. and we're gonna cover it with white frosting. Ooh. Here you go. You wanna do it for me? Sure. There you go. Oh, this you might get like sticky. Snow. Oh, really? That's why it's called the sweet and sticky snowman. Okay, let's see what happens here. So cover the whole the thing. The whole thing. Did you know that the world's largest snowman was 11 stories tall? What? Yeah, that's as tall as three T-Rex dinosaurs. That's crazy. I know. And it was so big that it had whole grown trees as arms. <laughs> that's wild, Nico. I know. And it didn't melt until the summer. It was July. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's a crazy. really long time. Yeah. I know. I wish I could have seen it. That snowman looks like it's ready for its head now. Oh, okay. So we're gonna put the head right on top and then we're gonna add some more frosting. Thank you. Because the frosting is gonna be like glue for all of the snowman's eyes, nose, and arms and stuff. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, what's the next part? So the next part, we're gonna add a little hat. If you want to, you can add just a dot of frosting on the top to look like a little like a, a special holiday hat. There you go. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, we'll put it right on top. Aww. Next, we have two chocolate chip eyes. Ooh. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Are you ready to see Mr. Snowman? There we go. <laughs> Here's your nose. Thank you. You're going to press it in pretty hard. Okay. Next, I have three chocolate buttons. How cute. One, two, three. Nice work. Last but not least, we have two arms. <gasps> oh, can I lap this side? Here we go. Teamwork. Okay. How did you get the, oh, I see. There you go. <gasps> Look at this Mr. Snowman. Oh, hello, Mika. Thank you so much for making me. Oh, honestly, anytime. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> Wow, so cute! Oh, I'm glad I have this apron. You did a great job candy crafting. Oh, thank you. Thanks uh, for showing me how to make all of these yummy holiday treats. Well, thanks so much for coming, Mika. Happy holidays. I hope you come back to candy craft with us soon. I would love to, and happy holidays to you. Thanks. All right. Bye. See you around. I had so much fun today learning how to make all of those yummy holiday treats and this super cute snowman. Oh, thank you. I love being a little snowman. Aw, and I love that you're my friend. <laughs> and how cool is it that the world's largest snowman was 11 stories high? Wait, did you know that snowman? Oh yeah, we go way back. Oh wow, we'll have to talk about that later. <laughs> well, I had so much fun exploring holiday treats. I think it calls for a 10 second dance party. Will you dance with me? 
Awesome. Oh, will you dance with me? Oh, dancing's my favorite. Let's do it. Holidays. Snow. Whoa. Very nice moves. And good job to you too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California. This place looks like so much fun. Whoa, check out this tower behind me. Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Wait a second. Hello? <gasps> There's a slide in there. I have to go down. I'm gonna go up the stairs, come on. Whoa! <laughs> that was so much fun! I want to do it again. See you there! Hey! Do you see the clock up here? Yeah, there's the numbers 1 through 12, and the numbers make a circle. So cool! And I see a red bird at the very top. Hi, bird! Tweet, tweet, tweet! <laughs> it looks like the time is... Time to go down the slide again. See you at the bottom. Whoa! That was so much fun! Hey, I wonder if we could find more colors and shapes and things to count here. Will you help me? Oh, amazing! One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! This looks like a really old western town. Oh, I know. I can pretend to be cowgirl Mika. Wait a second. Come here. There's another slide. That means there's one, two slides here. That's so fun. Well, since this is my town, I better make sure that the slide is working great. <laughs> Let's go up there. This is the perfect spot to check out my town. Yeah, everything looks really good. Oh, there's the bank. Hey, Barb, keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, and there's a little school over there. Hey, kids, cowgirl Mika. Yeah, you're learning a lot? Well, good for you. <laughs> I better check out that slide. <clears throat> Oh yeah, <laughs> three, two, one, it's time to have some fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was a blast. Wow, I can't believe I got to go down two slides today. <laughs> hey, there's a dragon over there. You know, some dragons fly and some dragons breathe fire. <sighs> Will you pretend to be a dragon with me? Okay, I think I'm gonna do both. Fly and breathe fire. <gasps> oh, careful, it's hot. That's fire. <sighs> <laughs> I'm a fire breathing dragon, see? <sighs> Look at this really cool dragon. This is the happy dragon. See its big smile and whoa. Look at its eyes, they're moving like. <laughs> wow, it has a really long tongue. What a cool looking dragon. Whoa, look over here. It has a big foot. Whoa, it's bright orange. <laughs> and look at its body. Do you know what color it is? Yep, it's yellow, one of my favorite colors. Oh, I see one, two legs. There's two more down here. Three, four, and two more way in the back. Five, six. Oh, six legs? <laughs> Look at these spikes. Will you count the spikes with me? Okay, let's start at the one way up top. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, whoa, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, ooh, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29 spikes! Wow! We just counted to a really big number! Good job! I think that calls for a 10 second dance party! Dance it out! <sighs> hey! This is kind of like a chair! <laughs> this is cool! It reminds me of musical chairs. Have you ever played that game before? When the music plays, you dance around, and then when it stops, you have to find a chair really, really fast. And if you can't find a chair, you're out. <laughs> Should we play? All right, let's do it. Oh, I hear that music. <gasps> the music stopped. <gasps> Whew, that was a close one. <laughs> wow, there's so many chairs on this dragon. I think next time we play, we're gonna have to invite a lot of friends. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa, this is the wonder go round. It's a ride. Should I get on it? Okay, come with me. We can pick out a character and I can go for a ride. I do like this walrus. What do you think? All right, I'm doing it. Let's go! Woohoo! Whoa! This looks like so much fun! This is the Jolly Trolley Ride! Yeah, it looks like a cool long train! <gasps> hey, look at this one! It's green! Green like a frog! Ribbit! Ribbit! And this one is the color. Yellow, that's right. Oh, I actually see a bumblebee up there. Bees are yellow too. Bzzz. Oh, and look at these cool windows. Will you count them with me? One, two, three. Oh, this one's two colors. Blue, like the sky, and purple, <laughs> like my shirt. <laughs> It's blue! It's two kinds of blues, a light blue and a dark blue. Kind of like the sky and water. Oh, I think I wanna go on this one. Oh, and I have a good idea. I have binoculars in my jam pack so I can see really well. Hello, <laughs> let's go for a ride. <gasps> Here we go. of really cool things. Actually, I think I saw some little tiny houses over there. Do you wanna race me? All right, on your mark. Get set, go! Wow, you're so fast. I know this story. This is the story of the three little pigs. Do you know that story? Yeah, there's three different houses in that story. This house is made out of sticks. Hello, I made this house all by myself out of sticks. <laughs> Here's the second house. This house is made out of straw. Yes, hello, do you like my straw house that I made? <laughs> Wait, there's three pigs and three houses, but we only saw two. I wonder where the other one is. Let's go look for it. Here it is, the third house, and it's made out of bricks, which means this house is really strong. Do you know what the softest house is? The one made out of straw for sure. <laughs> and I see some cool looking shapes on this house. I see a yellow rectangle. Oh, 
I see a triangle right there. One, two, three. And look at all of the bricks. They're all little rectangles. What a very nice looking home. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. In my jam pack, I have a nice healthy snack and I bet the pigs would really like these cucumbers. Hey, did you know that cucumbers are actually fruit? They're seeds inside, which makes them a fruit. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, there's one of the pigs over there. Hello, here's some nice healthy cucumbers for you. <laughs> Hey, it's Oswald the Bubble Elf. Hi, Oswald. It's me, Mika. It's so nice to meet ya. <laughs> Oswald loves making bubbles for us. And check it out. He's sitting on top of a giant mushroom. That must be so fun. Do you know what color this is? It's the color red. Let's go look at the stem. Whoa. It's a bright yellow, one of my favorite colors. What a cool mushroom. <laughs> Oswald, can we have some more bubbles, please? <laughs> Do you know what shape a bubble is? It's a sphere. So it's sort of like a circle, but it goes all the way around like a ball. See? Whoa. <laughs> and you know bubbles are just soap and water. <laughs> and they're really fun. Hey, maybe we can try and count some bubbles, but they're moving really fast. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> or we could pretend to take a bubble bath. <laughs> wow, whoa. <laughs> I could play with bubbles all day. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today, finding different shapes and colors. And we counted a lot too, remember? We counted the spikes on the dragon and counted the two slides. Woo! And oh, the piggy houses. Yeah. And remember, we left them a cucumber snack because they really like cucumbers. I really like cucumbers too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Wait a second. I think I have bubbles in my jam pack. I do. I can blow some more bubbles. <laughs> All right. Thanks for learning and playing with me. See you soon. Whoa. Hi. It's me, Mika. And today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? <laughs> They're so much fun. Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air, or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun. Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Bubbles and, <gasps> hey. Do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand. Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> well, I only got two out. Do you hear that? air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa, <laughs> look how many bubbles. Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right. There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so 
so many bubbles! Whoa, I'm gonna do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, let's check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh huh. All right. So we're gonna make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like you Ooh. did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it ah! out. Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa. <laughs> wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here, see this? film mm -hmm. on the wand. Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? Want to try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, Something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like, how about your hand? You wanna try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm gonna catch that bubble. Oh, oh that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so, the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it was, a little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it, and then they can link together. Ooh, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it but I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand inside what? your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. Whoa. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you wanna see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. 
Mika, <gasps> let me show you this <gasps> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes. Do you remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm hmm All right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something <laughs> besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Whoa, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 <sighs> degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Yeah. Isn't it neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Whoa, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah. And you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would. Thank you. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right. You don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm going to put some bubble solution on them. They get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes. Oh. This bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah. So when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope. But if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> These are the biggest bubbles I've ever seen. Ooh, <laughs> bubble hug. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make. <gasps> A bubble arch, it's like a rainbow. All right, I'm gonna make one more just for you, all oh, right? Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right, do you wanna try? Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, get some solution on there and Whoa. Wow, it's so pretty. That was awesome. Great job. Thank you. And thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no <laughs> problem. I hope you're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Have fun. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Whoa. She knows a lot about bubbles. All right, I'm going to do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one. Arch. Oh. I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look. It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. 
I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Whoa! I could fit inside of that bubble! That's how big it was! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me! some really cool bubble tricks. Wasn't it cool to see that bubble tower that I made? Oh, and my favorite was the big bubble arch. That was so much fun. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, thanks so much for learning with me today. <gasps> A bubble dance party! Let's dance! And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines! Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so, what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! There's so many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Yes, Thanks, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. You push down on a trampoline like this. See how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's 
check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Whoa, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Woo! I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball! <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time! Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. We'll get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Make like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Oh, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. That okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go! <laughs> oh! Of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course so can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And you're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. 
All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two, two, three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah, how about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. Like Ooh. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. All right, try your other foot. All right, the other one. Whoa, okay. It's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Whoa. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya. Today, I'm at the Children's Museum at La Habra. Museums are a great place for minds growing and flowing. <laughs> and we have a busy day on the farm. Oh, I hope we get to meet some chickens. Or maybe a cow. <laughs> Would you like to explore with me? Oh, great. One, two, three. 
Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah! Let's get moving! Here we go! Let's hop in! Oh! First things first! Safety first! Click, click! All buckled up, friend? Oh, great! Ready for the farm? <laughs> yeah! Here we go! <gasps> Look! We made it to the farm! <laughs> Yay! Let's take a closer look! Hey! This is a vegetable garden! Yeah! That's where lots of yummy vegetables grow! Vegetables are really good for your body! They help you stay healthy and strong! <gasps> Ooh! And there are so many different types of vegetables! But these vegetables are growing underground! <gasps> yeah! They're root vegetables! Root vegetables are carrots and potatoes. And hmm, what's this one? <gasps> a beet! <laughs> I like beets. They taste really rich and delicious. <gasps> and look! Do you know what this is? <laughs> it's a turnip. <gasps> yeah, you never know where they might turn up. <laughs> I know. Let's collect some vegetables for our lunch. We'll start with carrots. Hmm, will you count the carrots with me? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six carrots. Six orange carrots. But did you know carrots come in lots of different colors? <laughs> yeah! There are red carrots, and white carrots, and yellow carrots, and purple carrots! That's right! Carrots come in my two favorite colors! Let's grab some potatoes next. Let's dig them out! Dig, 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 dig! <gasps> Whoa! One potato! Two potato! Let's grab one more potato. <laughs> Three potatoes. Hmm, I'd like one beet, please. Dig, dig, dig! One beet! And let's get one turnip, too. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is gonna make a delicious stew. Whoa! Check it out! It looks like an orchard! <gasps> Whoa! An orchard is where fruit and nut trees grow. This is an orange tree. <gasps> Let's collect some oranges. Maybe we can put them on a salad. <gasps> One, <gasps> two, three! Nice and ripe. Oh, there's so many things you can do with an orange. You can squeeze, squeeze, squeeze them and make some orange juice for breakfast. And you can use the peels for compost. Oranges are really, really nutritious. They have lots of vitamin C. <laughs> Wait, I see some more trees over there. Let's go check it out. I know, let's be a buzz and buzz over to that orchard. Buzz. Whoa! Check out this orchard! There are so many different trees here. Let's count the trees. One, <laughs> two, and three! Three trees! This one has lemon on it, and this one has avocado, and this one over here has oranges. Do you know what they all have in common? <laughs> yeah, they're fruit trees. And do you know what makes a fruit a fruit? Fruits all have seeds. Look, see, an avocado has one big brown seed inside. <gasps> I know, let's make some guacamole. Let's grab four avocados, one, 
two, <laughs> three, four. Actually, four and a half. Now we need some lemons. Okay, let's get two lemons. One, <laughs> two, two lemons. Hey, maybe we can make some lemonade. That sounds refreshing. <laughs> Look, I'm riding on a tractor. Oh, and check it out. There's another vegetable garden with root vegetables. Oh, we haven't added cauliflower yet. Let's get one. One cauliflower. Add it to our bag, and let's keep rolling along. Oh, I'm farming, oh, I'm farming, oh, I'm farming vegetables in my garden. Yeah, I'm farming for some dinner with my friends. Oh, look, it's a tractor parking lot. Let's park. <laughs> <gasps> let's count how many tractors there are. One, two, two green tractors. I'll leave my vegetables right here so I can explore. <gasps> Look, there are some animals. Hello, sheep. I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Would you like some pets? <laughs> okay, wow, you're so soft. Do you know what sound a sheep makes? That's right, Ba. <laughs> How about this animal? The kitty cat. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Do you know what sound this kitty cat makes? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, you're so sweet. Hey, I see a barn over there. Let's go see what's inside. Woo! Whoa, check it out. A big red barn. What's that? <laughs> There's a cow inside. Let's say hello. Hello, cow. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this cow is black and white. Do you know what sound it makes? <laughs> That's right. Moo. Moo. <laughs> hey, I peeped some chicken over there. Let's go say hi. <laughs> hey chickens, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Let's count how many chickens there are. One, two, three. Three little chickens. Oh, in three different colors. Gray, brown, and beige. <laughs> Did you know chickens are the closest living relative to dinosaurs? Rawr! <laughs> so cool. Oh, let's see what's in here. <gasps> oh, there's some eggs. Excuse me, chickens. May I have some eggs? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's grab my bag and get some eggs. Oh, hey, look. The eggs are in two different colors. White and brown. Let's count all of the eggs. And we have to be very, very gentle because eggs are delicate, which means they're easy to break. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six eggs. Oh, thank you so much for being so generous, chickens. Oh, we have so many healthy fruits and vegetables and eggs with us. Let's go see what we should make for lunch. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, check out this farmhouse. Oh, let's wash our hands before we have some lunch. All right, ready to go. A stove. 
Let's scramble some eggs. Crack. <laughs> Crack. Mmm, <laughs> yum. An ice box. Hmm. Let's put our cauliflower inside for later. How about some carrots, too? That way they stay nice and cold. That was a long day at the farm. I'm really hungry. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Thanks for joining me. Oh, you're hungry, too? All right, let's see what we have. One potato for you and one potato for me. One avocado for you, kitty cat, and one avocado for me. Oh, a carrot for you, pal, and a carrot for me. <laughs> oh, some more eggs, yes. One egg for you, and one egg for me. Oh, don't forget some lemon. There you go, a whole lemon for you, and hmm, an orange for me. <laughs> Is that all? Oh, don't forget our turnip. Mm-hmm, a turnip for you and a beet for me. Let's count how many items the kitty cat has. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Hope you're really hungry. Okay, bon appetit. Let's eat. <laughs> That was such a great day on the farm with you. What did we learn today? One, two, three, can you tell me? <laughs> I learned that fruits have seeds. And I also learned that root vegetables grow in the ground. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. Oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm -hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? <gasps> That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air, and lots of water. You can water them yourself, or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water, so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, plants need lots of space to grow, too. <gasps> oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Hi Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tongva language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens. Mm -hmm. Even though 
a banana is not great. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and you add, add water, water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies. Oh, yes. And everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worm. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And the, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, mm. some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole, but the size of the roots and the size of your fist, you take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole, and then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. Oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right, and you wanna know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. So sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm -hmm. Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. 
Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors. Purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. Oh, I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right. It's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! <laughs> a really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries. Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, <laughs> I'm gonna have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. This is a Arroyo Lupin. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect. Roll out your hand. I'm going to give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was Thank so you, fun. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> that was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> okay, friend. See you later. Bye-bye. Me, Mika. And today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California. And I'm riding the Wonder Go Round. Woohoo! Giddy up. <laughs> do you want to meet some of my friends? All right, let's go. This is the Dodo. Hello, Dodo. Hello, Mika. Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is the Mad Hatter. 
Oh, and the griffin. I love the griffin's purple wings. And this, I bet you recognize this animal. See those tusks? It's the walrus. Hello, walrus. Hello, Mika. <laughs> I really want to go on my own adventure. Will you come with me? All right, giddy up. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, check out this giant blue whale. This is Willie the whale to be exact. Hi, Willie the whale. I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. <laughs> Big blue whales are really cool and they're the biggest mammal on the planet. Whoa, hey Willie, do you mind if I come inside? All right, let's go. Wow. Look, there is a note inside of Willie's mouth and it says, Mika, <laughs> that's me. Okay, <clears throat> your Storyland adventure starts here. So get up and on your feet. Use your five senses to explore Fairyland. You'll make friends and find a yummy treat. Oh, I love making new friends and I really like treats. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, five senses, that's, Seeing, smelling, hearing, touch, and taste. So we will see with our eyes and we'll smell with our noses and hear. Oh, can you hear any sounds? Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> and there's taste with your mouth and touch with your hands, with your skin. Oh, this is gonna be really, really fun. I just know it. Hey. Let's swim like whales on out of here. Ready? <laughs> hey, there's more water over here. Water is something fun to feel, and that's one of our senses. Okay, let's see. I wonder if the water is hot or cold. Let's touch it and find out. Whoa, it's very, very cold. Wow, but hey, that's one of our senses. I touched the water. <laughs> well, that water would not be fun for me to swim in, but a big whale would love to swim in that cold water. Can you think of other animals that like to swim in cold water? Maybe a seal? <laughs> or a walrus? Or oh, a penguin. Let's waddle like penguins out of here and find some other things. Waddle, 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 waddle. Do you hear that? Quack, quack. Yeah, I hear a duck. Wow, so we used feeling and now we're using hearing. That's two senses. Do you see any ducks? Back there, on the other side of the water. I see one, two, three ducks. Hey, and they're hanging out around Rapunzel's tower. Hi, Rapunzel. See, she's at the very top and her hair's so long. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the tower. <laughs> oh, and hey, it's Mr. Todd, the fox from Tales of Beatrix Potter. Hi, it's me, Mika, do you remember? It was a long time ago, it's okay. <laughs> oh man, ducks are so cool. Did you know that they eat seeds and fruit and worms? <laughs> oh, but remember, do not feed ducks without getting permission. <laughs> I'll see you later, ducks. Let's see what else we can find. Come on, quack, quack. Hey, we already used two of our senses, feeling and hearing. I wonder if we can smell anything. Let's try. Actually, I smell something really good. I bet it's these flowers. Let's see. Oh yeah, they smell so good. Did you know that flowers smell good to attract pollinators like butterflies, hummingbirds, even ladybugs and bumblebees? Yeah. They're attracted to the flower, so they'll fly over 
and get some pollen on them and then fly to another flower and spread that pollen around, which plants more seeds, which creates more plants for all of us. So thank you, pollinators. <laughs> hey, I wonder if we can see anything. Let me go into my jam pack and get my <laughs> binoculars. Ooh, I see a tunnel over there. Let's go check it out. Come on. Where is that tunnel? Oh, <laughs> look at that silly clock. It's going the opposite direction. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, where is the tunnel? I see it. <laughs> and I also see the white rabbit from the book Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the white rabbit is always in a hurry. And look, there's a little clock right there in its pocket. Hi, white rabbit. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Should we hop in the tunnel together? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, hop. Hey, I see giant playing cards. Seeing is another sense. We explored feeling, smelling, and hearing, and now we can explore seeing. Ooh, you wanna check out these cards with me? Come on. Whoa, I see the letter A. And do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a heart. And there's a big giant heart right there. Oh, it's like it's singing. Yes, I have a giant heart. That is so sweet. Oh, look at this one. I see the number two, that's right. And do you know what shape this is? That's a spade. Correct, Mika, that is a spade. Oh, I thank you so much. Ooh, and I see the number four. Do you know what shape this is? It's a diamond, cool. Yes, a diamond is my favorite shape. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Whoa, I see something really cool over there. Do you wanna check it out with me? Well, let's go. Whoa, do you see what's behind me? Giant apples. Look, there's a red one and a green one. Oh, and this one has a worm inside. Hi, worm, it's me, Mika. <laughs> you know, red apples usually taste sweet and green apples usually taste a little sour. <gasps> hey, taste, that's the fifth sense. We explored all five senses. Oh, that means that I get a treat. Will you help me look for it? Okay, let's go. Oh, excuse me, have you seen a treat for Mika? Something yummy you can eat, like a mm -mm -mm. Okay, no, all right. I found the treat! Oh boy, wow, it's a cupcake, check it out! With yummy icing on it. Ooh, oh, and a note. Let's see here. Oh, it says for Mika, <laughs> that's me. Great job exploring your five senses and finishing your adventure. Enjoy this yummy treat. Hope you had fun. Your friend Blippi. Oh, Blippi is such a great friend. He knows that I like playing games and eating yummy treats. Hey, we explored all five senses. Seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, tasting. Oh, now I get to taste the cupcake. Let's see here. Mmm, it's so good! Hey, we did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! <laughs> what a fun day we had! We went on a really cool adventure using our five senses! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing and learning with me. I loved learning that the blue whale is the biggest mammal on the planet. Oh, 
It must take up so much space in the ocean. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you soon, bye. Come on everyone, let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Mika.